Hello everybody. A lot of students come to me and ask me, "Hey Pawan, the cost of studying abroad is approximately 50 lakhs for a masters and close to 1 crore or 1.5 crore for MBA. Is it a wise decision to spend so much money on studying abroad?" Now, the answer is, well, in the immediate short term we never know what happens, right? The job market itself is very bad. But from my personal experience, I have noticed that after 10 years of completing masters or MBA, a lot of my friends from high school who went to tier 2 tier 3 colleges for mba masters and even my ncia classmates well a few of them struggled immediately just to get a job right after completing their masters but in the long run all of them are settled pretty well so studying abroad and working abroad in the long run makes a lot of sense so don't ignore that long term roi component and in this video we'll talk about what is the best way to enable that study abroad opportunity for you from a financing standpoint so the first one of course is loans right so i'm not talking about going and taking a loan from sbi sbh or any of these local banks right they charge an education loan interest rate is up to 11% 12% right now so i'm not going to talk about these loans they are anyways available i'm going to talk about a few different kinds of loans which will offer you a bit more flexibility for example prodigy financing so that's a fantastic option because i'm not talking about the interest rates but you will only repay your loan you will start repaying your amount after 6 months of your graduation so you have at least 6 more months after graduation to get started with your job or if you don't find a job go search for another one and you don't have the loan tensions for these 6 months it comes extremely handy because after you complete your masters you are not going to start your job immediately right aaj masters khatam ho gaya immediately you are joining a job tomorrow no that doesn't work like that you take a few months break so this is very important the second option is about let's say for ncad there is a loan financing option called as brain capital and what do these guys do similarly they also provide you the loan for mim or mba programs but there is a specific catch that is you start repaying the loan only only if you get a salary worth more than 30000 euros so that is in indian terms more than 30 lakhs per year irrespective of your family situation irrespective of who in your family is earning all that doesn't matter they care about your earnings if you are earning less than 30000 euros then you don't have to pay any of these loans well we all hope we don't get to that situation right but there is that flexibility that you go search for what you need and you pay only after what you get as what the salary that you want so these are some of the options that are available for every school when i say loan don't just think about going and getting a loan from sbi hdfc icici these are specific loan options which give you a lot more flexibility the second option which i personally experienced is sponsorship well i'm not talking about scholarship this is sponsorship there are a few companies like mckinsey bcg bain and a few investment banks these companies actually pay the student tuition fees directly to the college in my case i worked at mckinsey for 2 years before my mba even got started so after 2 years of work experience when i went to my manager at mckinsey and i told them that hey boss i got an admit from insiad will you sponsor my mba they agreed with a few conditions and the conditions are like we will pay your tuition fee directly to the insiad administration office after you come back from insiad you have to work for mckinsey for 2 years that is the classic bond right you write a bond for your organization and this is what it is well they also give you the health insurance they let you keep your laptop they will give you the email address it's basically you are going on a education leave and call as a leave of absence So consulting companies are very well known for doing this kind of sponsorship for your MBA. They have the top 10 20 business schools for which they sponsor this education, but it's a fantastic option because you are literally paying 0 dollars from your pocket. And anyways, these are prestigious firms you can go back and start working with them again. So McKinsey, BCG, Bain, Kearney, a lot of other consulting companies as well do this even for the employees in their india offices and that is the reason why people want to join these companies the third one is scholarships well if i say scholarship people will be like ah, i know these scholarships exist but i never get it or 
there are so many scholarships out there it is very difficult to get to the right scholarship so there are two sources number one is your on campus or college specific scholarship or even your department specific scholarship that could be one the second one is off campus scholarships or something called as a general scholarships well the general scholarships hundred thousand dollars let's say 80 lakhs 85 lakhs is the fee and if these guys are offering thousand dollars two thousand dollars it is not much it is not going to even be as important as your pocket money right such a small amount but still i would say go get these scholarships because they have no relationship with whatever other scholarships you might get if you get some financial assistance from the college itself still you can apply for these kind of off campus or generic scholarships two scholarships that i would recommend here empower financing so this scholarship is basically on a monthly basis they start giving out a theme you have to see if you can write an essay around that theme and then submit your essay to empower finance and they will give you a scholarship the monthly scholarship is not worth much but end of the day if you have the money on the table why don't you take it it at least will help you as your pocket money and this is no strings attached it is irrespective of what is the financial assistance that you get from any other source so that's a fantastic good point now whatever scholarship you take please look for this specific condition if you get some other scholarship typically these guys say you are not eligible so don't get into these kind of things because the outside scholarships are literally worth probably five thousand to ten thousand dollars in the in campus scholarships right there are again multiple types you start getting into the campus and there is one thing called as a merit based scholarship and in this merit based scholarship the more you score the higher gmat you have and every semester after semester you score more you continue to get these scholarships now beyond scholarships there is also something called as funding so what is this funding all the professors right the professors are rated in these big universities around the world not based on they also have appraisals they also have promotions all that stuff correct they are not rated based on how many hours of teaching they are doing in the classroom they are rated based on how many research papers they write how much research work they do all that kind of stuff and for that they have a specific amount of grant they themselves have a fund and what they do is they take out certain portion of that fund to give it to individual students who support the professors on this particular research project and in some scenarios they don't give money out to the student directly but rather they'll say to the student hey pavan please come help me with this project and i will tell the university to waive off your entire semester fee fantastic offer right thirty thousand dollars fee that fee is completely waived off you don't have to pay even a single rupee to the college and these things are with the professors so you should start mingling with the professors scholarships sponsorships and even loans all these are good options but this research grant that professors have and the power that they have to even wave off your entire fee this is very powerful please don't ignore the funding options that the professors can provide and this is only through your conversations through your networking and you have to go to the professors and say hey professor i have all the free time in the world i am ready to help you with whatever you want honestly you have to be that outgoing and you have to say that i can help you now beyond funding there is one more thing which a lot of people also do is the on campus off campus jobs people pick up whatever is the job available on campus whether it's a librarian job whether it's a teaching assistant job or you are basically helping somebody in the restaurant as a cashier doesn't matter right you pick up that job on an hourly basis you get paid eight dollars ten dollars and this will quickly add up because every week you are working for 20 to 40 hours and recently in canada there was a restriction from a very long time that you can only work for 20 hours every single week off campus but now that restriction had been removed for the students and students can work for much beyond 20 hours as well even while they have college classes so please look into these options of a whether a university provides that option to work on campus to work off campus so on so forth and if you have that option please go pick it up typically some of these smaller colleges won't have these options but if there is a university there are 30000 students 40000 students studying in these universities you will have these part time options well we talked about number 1 to start off with loans there are specific types of loans please don't forget that 
Number two is the sponsorship, not the scholarship, but the sponsorship from these prestigious consulting companies, investment banks. The third one is your scholarship, very specific scholarships that are off campus or general ones, which have no tie ups, which have no kind of constraints on what are the other financial assistance that you are getting. The fourth one is the funding option from the professor and this depends on your relationship with the professor. And finally, the fifth one is go get that cashier job on the campus. Well, it doesn't mean that, hey, you are losing your dignity. People do respect you with whatever job you do outside of India. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this video is helpful. Please do share it with your friends. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments box and I'll try to answer that at the earliest possible. Take care. See you again. Bye bye.